back to my channel. I'm here with Michael again today. Bringing you guys some more houses at our yeah. house hunting series. We will link the playlist up here if you guys missed the last episode. Yeah, if you missed it, make sure to check it out and subscribe so you don't miss out. We are putting out new episodes every week on this house hunting journey. We didn't film every house that we've walked through, but quite a few of them we did. Yeah. And we have some fun ones today. Three houses for you guys today. A quick little recap on last week's episode. It was so fun to hear your feedback, so definitely leave feedback today too. But to me, when I was looking at the comments, it seemed like the overwhelming amount of you liked house number two better, yep. but then also you guys were iffy on if either of them were right for you. We are gonna go ahead and let you guys know that house number two is still on our list. Still on the list. House number one got cut. Mixed it. It yep. felt, it did have potential, it really did, but I do feel like it was a little cookie cutter and the no yard was a no yep. for us. Yeah, definitely. No yard and being right on top of our neighbor is a sealed no. the deal. So house number two is still on the list, but we've got three really good ones to look at today. So let's go ahead and get started. We have a really bad one too. One really bad one, <laughs> yeah. So house number one today is Southern Living. So this home is inspired like by the magazine Southern Living or something like that. Oh really? Yeah, it's supposed to just be like what it sounds like. So yeah. very so laid like, back. Like the house on the hill, very high up there. Yeah. Huge, awesome views very steep driveway, which was another con. This isn't the same kind of neighborhood as the house on the hill yep. too. So a little bit farther from the city, but really those beautiful views are that like- awesome. And we're rolling. We're rolling? Okay, we're walking up to, this is Southern Living, house number three. three. Five beds, four baths. I like it. Yeah. I like that porch thing. I like the color, so black and the white. Yeah, it's nice. You've got a really good view actually over here. Just all the trees and everything. So as soon as we walked in, we noticed tons of natural light. Yeah, we love the open floor plan. We were pleasantly surprised. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah. It was a really cool house and something that we really have been wanting is a master on the first floor. Yes, which this house did. First impression. It's really cool. They all have these little butler pantries. That's nice. A little wet bar. Mm -hmm. This goes into a original. What is this? Master? Not sure. Go on. Oh, this is cool. Is That's nice. nice. Yeah. So as soon as you walk in, there is a closed off like library office. Yeah. But it's connected to the master, which was different, but kind of cool. Yeah, we kind of like that. Look how pretty it's like all built in bookshelves. This must be like your office attached to the bedroom. I like that. So the closet was huge, massive. I like the island. Yeah, the, the island middle. is cool. It was like a very luxurious closet. I will say that this house was very luxurious and very well built, but it did need quite a bit of renovations. It was older. Yeah, like it was, it was surprisingly stuff that was very in style, but they must have done it like right when it came into style. Mm -hmm. So it was getting kind of beat up. So yeah, like the closet, we noticed like some scuffs. Chipping, yeah. stuff like that. But then we walked outside to the backyard. So the other houses we toured had no backyards mm -hmm. so far. So as soon as we saw this one, we were pleasantly surprised. Had a lot of room and area for Julian to play. Yeah. Trees. Actually, a lot of privacy. the one that we had looked at earlier, it was very similar in that it was a hill, but they hadn't blown it out. This one, they had already went ahead and blew it yeah. out and like made it a really nice backyard. So it gave us an idea for the other house if we want to do something like that. But this one was already done and they said it cost tons of money. There was a waterfall, there was a fire yeah. pit. It was, it it was, was pretty cool. Yeah. I love that tree house too. Yeah. Really pretty. I like the tree house. Get up there. Okay. We're gonna work out yeah. it today. Yeah. Climb up on the It's so private back here. Yeah. This house is really big. What'd you say it was again? Let's say like 54. 
So it's just gonna go on and on. And yeah. On. Oh it goes downstairs, it goes upstairs, and then there's a separate upstairs. I feel like the, you love this. I'm sure. <laughs> He's like, what's up? <laughs> and the kitchen's super cute. This you could so put your own cute. little flair on it. Oh, I want to like, touch this it. Is mine. This is mine. This is yours. Yeah. This is mine too. I yeah. like the back We have the same. Yes. Yeah. We have the same style. This is my style. I, I kind of like the southern meets modern oh. meets Mediterranean all in one. I love yes. this house. I like okay. a good combination of French Southern because I feel yes. like French is kind of that French Mediterranean. Southern. Yes. You yeah. know, it's kind of that like old yeah. school traditional, but Southern, you know. Walk down to the basement, instant man cave. Yeah. Huge area for a TV. They had their, they had a pool table, right? Yeah. They had it set up really cool in there. Yeah. <laughs> I think you just won yourself a man cave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my cool. God, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. There is one bedroom down and there's an extra bedroom downstairs, which we thought our parents could stay in when they yeah. come visit and give them privacy. Definitely something that's on our list is a either a bedroom with a bathroom attached or like a whole little living quarters yeah, for, for our visitors. family. Yeah. So we were noticing kind of like a trend. The garage are always in the basement from at least a couple of the houses we looked at so yeah, far. Yeah. Which was strange to us. It is, yeah. We there's a couple more that you guys will see in the other episodes to come. It's just I guess a common thing for the either there's no basement or the basement is the garage. Yeah. But whatever. We walked upstairs, the top level of this house. That's where all like the kids' bedrooms were. There was a really nice playroom. I love that room. Yeah. It, this is where I think the house became to look a little outdated. Yeah. So we would need to do some renovations, which we said before we were open to. Yeah. But But this kind of seemed like the perfect amount of renovations. Like nothing needed to happen immediately because mm -hmm. it was really pretty. But this was at the top of our budget, so we wouldn't have money to do those renovations immediately. Yes, yes. So I don't know. I do love the look of this house. I know you are obsessed with this house. Yeah, I am. It was like, it was we're great. moving to the south. This is Southern Living. We love it, but let's move on to house number two. This one was... So we're gonna call this one the foreclosure house. <laughs> we did not know it was a foreclosure before we walked in. Yeah. Before we got there, the neighborhood was really nice. Gated community. It was a good price mm -hmm. for our fixer-upper that yeah, we were thinking we about. Yeah, okay, fixer-upper, this is the one. But when we walked in, it was a no. <laughs> it was a no pretty much immediately. I was still trying to be open-minded because that's kind of how it is when you get a fixer-upper, but I will tell you guys right away. I stepped through the door and I was just like, no. Nah. It right? had that smell in there. Yeah, it was bad. Like something, a couple things have died in there. It was like, no one's lived in there for- I, And outside. Yeah, a long time. <laughs> you guys take a look at the foot of the chair. The dark, the dark cave. Is that the dark cave? This one? Yes. Yeah. Like dining room? I like the windows. What? Kind of weird. Oh, I got the next room. This was a really nice house, and if someone has done a fixer upper project before, this would be a good one, yeah. Yeah, this would be great, but it's the bug thing. There's cockroaches everywhere. Rat poo. Musty. Like water. And there's a funny little wine cellar. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. It doesn't Michael, you gotta film this. You gotta film it. This. When you think of wine cellar, you think of like super. Yeah. Luxurious. And, and this then is, this is this like... far from it. This really smells. It smells like a um, sauna. Is this the house with the indoor pool? <laughs> it must, no, it's no. not. It must have had water damage because it smells musty. Mm. I don't think this wine cellar has been used for quite no. a while. It's a nice little cockroach. Oh, it really? It smells worse and worse the farther you walk. Is that rat poop? 
Stop. Oh my god. I think it is. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. That's, 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 that's it for me. That's it for me. It's a no for me. <laughs> Once he said there was rat poop, and there was a bunch of cockroaches, there was a dead bird, it's all black and gothic in there, I'm out. If I had seen a mouse or a rat, absolutely. My day would have been ruined. Yeah, you guys, this house, I'm gonna be honest, it's just not on the list for us. It's too big of an undertaking. We want something that is a fixer upper that we feel comfortable living in before, like while like we're doing it. Fixing up a couple rooms, yeah. Yeah, and I just can't get past the cockroaches and the rats. Like, that's a, it's a no for me, Dead like birds. I said. <laughs> yeah, so moving on to house number three, this one is closer into town but it's right next to a ymca i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but yeah, it meant know. not too many neighbors but either way we're gonna check this house out because it's a good price really good location yep. and it looks really cute so this is a newer build it's not brand new but it's probably been lived in for what maybe like three four years yeah i think so so there's a lot of details in this house a lot of nice finishings yeah there were. the ceilings were massive and I yes. love the backyard. Yeah, so this house, they really paid attention to detail. Beautiful shiplap everywhere, paneling, molding. It was a little dark though. It was, yeah. Yeah, I remember thinking that the kitchen would need some updating. Mm -hmm. It wasn't exactly our style. But it was an open floor plan that yeah, we liked. Yeah, it was. But what do you think about the living room? Do you remember? The living room was small. Yeah, it was small. But I felt like it felt small because of the colors of the house. True. Because I really loved the layout, I loved the big kitchen, and then like you said, the patio in the backyard was awesome. made this house. So a lot of the Nashville houses are very tall builds, so mm -hmm. they can build more houses on top of each other. This mm -hmm. house had two very tall houses on each side, very close together, blocked a lot of the sunlight. Yeah. But I was so surprised how private the backyard felt. They had put in a fence, lights, a patio that yeah, you couldn't covered... Even see. It was, nice. was adorable. I could totally see Julian and Chloe playing out here and we wouldn't have to worry about them. Like that dinner. Four Seasons room was nice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was really cool. So immediately we're thinking like we could update this kitchen. This is what I'm talking about. A kitchen we can update while we're living Slowly, in. Slowly, yeah. Yeah, so we love it. Then we go into the master uh, bedroom, which is really cute too. This, <laughs> this, you like this, one? this black's kind of cool. I wouldn't have normally done it, but it's kind of cool. This black needs a really cute little chandelier right there. Yeah, it does. To yeah. brighten up it. Because it is This cute. chandelier is so cute. It's what so beachy. Beachy? Yeah, beachy. Oh, I love that. Really no, cute. Yeah, it is, yeah. That'd be cute in a baby's room. I'm just about to say a yeah. nursery. Okay. Double vanities. Oh, I like how the closet opens with the two doors. Yeah, the French doors to the yeah. closet. It would look better if it was white. Yeah. And then the black would be okay. Yeah. That's the kind of easy fix I'm okay with. The only thing about black is it, it'll just, like, sometimes it shows more. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like when it's makeup not clean. or anything like that. Yeah, when yeah. it's not clean, it'll just show. So then we walked upstairs. Yeah, they had a very huge room that they I think we're using as a gym. Yeah. They had speakers, like one of those cool fridges that we like. It was mm -hmm. a really cool room. Like you yeah. can use this for a playroom. You can use office, it for an office, yeah. gym, even just like a hangout spot. We really wanted a big room like that, like yeah. a playroom kind of room. Yep. Yeah. So this upstairs was just every bedroom possible. It was I mean, all it there. was like never, it was a long hallway of never ending bedrooms. That's all it was. And bathrooms. <laughs> And the, we didn't get a clip of this, but remember that weird little room at the end? It was like a closet. Oh yeah, it was like a, like a little attic closet that someone could have played in, but they finished it. Yeah, I don't know. The The only downfall about upstairs here for me was number one, it was carpet. We yep. really are not fans of carpet, but in bedrooms, it's okay. It's just not mm -hmm. my favorite. Yep. And then the privacy factor, they built the houses so the windows are the exact same height. Mm -hmm. It's not like, like one was a little higher, in. it was just like, hey. Yeah, so you really have to make friends with your neighbors. Yeah, you would. So that was another con. Oh, and the laundry's them. upstairs and the master's oh, yeah. down. So a couple cons, but overall, we, like the, we really yeah. like this house. Let us know what you guys think down below in the comments. Which one's your favorite? Which ones do you think are out? Love to hear your Let's thoughts. Know. Would you renovate that crazy house? I don't think I could. Yeah, give this That's video a lot of money. <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode and we will see you guys then. Bye guys. So Michael just told me that he thinks 
he's getting discouraged. So. I mean, but I want a movie theater in my house. This yeah. is so cool. Heck yeah. yeah.